Hi everybody, this is Kathy, and we are going to play with Oh My Heart, Close to My Heart, and it is this sketch, and sorry it's not in color. My printer ran out of color, and we are going to use Pixie. Raspberry, Candy Apple, and Black. Now, the only thing that I'm going to cheat is um, let me see, the heart stamp is the heart border stamp. And that goes underneath this paper strip. I, I'm not fond of how tiny and little flimsy they are. Like, it's hard to get them straight on your block. And it's hard to find, like, get the flat edge to put it on your stamp. So I think... I'm just going to take my ink pen and put little slashes and marks. So, all right, the first things. Okay, it tells you to put your white daisy, to cut it down, like in the directions of cutting. It tells you to cut it um, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I did that and before the camera started, I went ahead and glued that on my ballerina cardstock. So I just went ahead and did that. Now it says to, uh, well, the, it says attach 2A and 2B. So I did that. Stamp heart border with intense black ink to to be as shown. Okay. So to B and two A is this. So that's right. I didn't glue that down. <laughs> Alright, so it is it says I'll tell you what you guys I have this magnifying glass and I had to magnify these measurements and write in bigger so that I can see online. And um, I still can't find my T-square ruler. And I don't know where. Know where I stuck it. Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It was in a pile of stuff on the table. Okay, so it says to, it's three inches up. So we are going to, I already put glue on it. Okay, we are going to slide this to three. Okay, is it the big line when the three's not even there? Okay. Now let's move it over here and see if I have it straight. Yeah. You know what? I've lived without this ruler for so long that that is going to have to be straight. Okay, so let's see. Stamp heart border with intense black ink. Well, I have an intense black ink 
pen. So I am going to put intense black dashes, which I could do this off camera, I'm sorry. Okay, next it says to ink the washi tape with our pixie, I wanted to say pixie dust. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am going to stamp it right there just to look at it. That'll look pretty. Alrighty, put that off to the side and Okay, so, okay, I want to kind of go off a little bit, off the side, here we go. Okay, I am going to finish this and I will be back. Okie dokie. So I like that. That kind of looks good. All right. I hope you can see. All right. Next, it says take the first square attached to C, and it is two and three fourths. So we are going to, whoops, move this up a little bit. bit ugh two and three fourths so that is right about here now it's right up against that now do I want to go and ink all these with one of these inks do I want it light and do the here are the ink colors. So we have pixie dust. That's that. Not pixie dust. Oh my goodness. Then we have the raspberry. I'm thinking pixie. Or we could do black and just do a little dusting. Mm. All right. I am going to, since it's going to be a little bit, and my talking through the video um, has been a little, it, it's been taking my videos a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is measure all my um, squares out, ink them, and then I'll be back after I do that. And then we will talk about putting the stickers on and the title and stuff like that. So I will be back. And then we have stamping this loopy loop and stamping the heart. So we will do that together. And I will explain like part of the title goes on a square and some I got cut some strips. I didn't do that when I skipped some of the directions and cutting the journaling strips. So I need to do that. I'm a bad girl. So I will be back. Okay. I am finally back. My son came in and then my husband came in and I had to finally shut the video off and yeah I want to show you something so yeah I got some marks on here I messed up put my blocks and my photo mount yeah so I took off the car sticker I took off the title sticker and 
although you can't see it, I have the color version on my laptop. And I have it enlarged so big because I just, as I was telling you, I have, I have two magnifying glasses. So, my son bought us a big TV and he came in and put it in my scrapbook room and I will have a room share sometime. So in order to see YouTube, like see the comments and stuff, like I need to go to the eye doctor because I can't, like I'm having trouble with my hearing and my sight. It just really, it really sucks to get old, you know? So, I have a big TV in here, so I can see now, <laughs> and I don't have to miss anything on my laptop, because it's like 17 inches, and my phone, so I got all that set up, so now, after you put your photo mount there, it says to add the car sticker. Okay, and it is right here. Isn't that cute? And it overlaps, so I put some foam there. Kind of overlaps the photo kind of right there. So I'll still be able to put the photo tuck in it. So it goes there, but look, it don't cover up any of that. So then underneath this, you put my... And I kind of goofed a little bit. I need the scissors. And I can't really see it, but clip that little piece out. There. Okay, that kind of goes right down here. And then this, but I don't really cover that up. If I put it there, it kind of, I may, off camera, kind of take a, some white paint and some, a paintbrush. And kind of put some paint over it. So, I'm... Going to put some glue there. So while I scrap off camera, I watch NCIS and I like I can't sit out in the living room. So I can't wait to watch um Let's scoot that up. I can't wait to watch the new NCIS. Now, Tony and Ziva had a baby. I do know that. Okay, the R goes there. And the E, the E goes underneath. There, so I'm going to put the H. Can you see? Okay, I'm going to put the H. Oh, it's kind of crooked. Uh, story of my life. Okay. So I want to watch all those new ones. I love Tony and Ziva. Okay. So there's the E. And the fancy A. 
Okay, let's talk close to my heart. Now, I have just started close to my heart. Maybe this is going on my third month. Now, my good friends on Mini Kit Monday, Dolly and Becky. I started buying from Becky and I fell in love with Close to My Heart. I love their inks. I love the scissors. I love their chamois. Their, their stamping chamois. Am I off a little bit? No. I just... You know, and used to be I wasn't fond of Close to My Heart because I wasn't into stamping. Now... I'm like getting into stamping and stuff because I'm learning how to all their techniques and stuff. And I love, I love their inks and I love their kits. You know, something easy, you could follow directions, you don't have to think about it. Yeah, I love it. All right. So I like that. So. If you love their stuff, you know, and you want to order, and, you know, I'm cool with if you want to order from Dolly, and or if you want to order from Becky, or if you want to order from me. I'm cool with that. Um, I'll leave all three of our links below. It's not going to hurt my feelings at all. You know, we all, you know, we all support each other. Um, yeah, I'm cool with it. So, all right. So here's three little journaling strips. So I think all I have left, I have this. And this, it says to attach car sticker okay attach title as shown stamp garling now i have black ink but i don't have the intense black ink and i think that's okay you know i got this free um you have to buy your kit if any of you want to sell close to my heart now i um I have a couple people that ordered from me, and I figured once I got to the point, you you have to have so much a month, and I'm, you know, I figured once I get to a point, I love the stuff myself that, you know, I can order it and, and be fine with it to meet my quota, but, you know, I would love it if I can get some clientele and you know, okay, so it goes like this, and then let me enlarge my, hello, and move it up, so it's kind of off-centered a little bit, kind of off like this, kind of moved over to the left a little bit, and then you have to give yourself a little bit of room to put the hearts, so we're just going to wing it and push down. And usually you put that little foam thing that comes with the stamps and it goes underneath. But I forgot to put it on there. Up, oh, and it didn't stamp. So I'm going to pull this closer to me and see if I can stamp it. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty. Am I right on? Oh. Now, why isn't that stamping? I'm going to get my little thing out. Maybe that's why.
Okay, let's do it again. Oh, man. Okay, that's good enough. It's not too far messed up. So, I gotta get my chair back. All right, so then it says to stamp large hearts with raspberry. Okay, here's my large heart with raspberry, and let's get that. And it says to do the first one. Um, okay, so let's do this one, okay, then it's the third one, uh, you know what, the third one is Oh, it's second generation stamp. Okay. There we go. And then it's the... Does the fourth one... Okay, it's right here. There we go. And then the last one is second generation. Okay. So, does it have a big stamp on the bottom? Let's see. Okay, yes. Okay, and it is next to the T. Let's move that up so you can see. There we go. Okay. So, let's put that there. And I think the pixie, or the raspberry is done. And now we have the medium size heart, which whoop, we got raspberry, and I'm almost done with this. Raspberry is done there, and there, there there and there and then we have one on the bottom or is that yeah well I think it's supposed to be a big one but we are going to put a second generation stamp there and okay so now we have a tiny heart. Let's put that on there. Now, I think the only, okay, that's Pixie. Okay, so we are going to there. And there, whoops, hardly any there. Whoops, I have a line of pink up there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I think I want a couple hearts, little tiny hearts, right over here like that and over there and I am getting ink look at that how messy that is okay so I forgot a stamp and it is this one with the dotted lines and the arrow so we are going to take this little ink off And this is black. I'm sorry my ink or my 
videos are a little bit long. I've just been chatty Kathy. Okay, so this goes around here and I need this little piece. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to get some close to my heart ink off of your paper. So I have this line, I have this line, I have these smudge marks. I would love to hear them. All right. Now it says to put little dots and I'm going to put a practice one there. It's really nice how well these work when they're new. Like I have some stickles and Well, these, it's kind of hard to judge how big to make these when you can't really see. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to finish these off camera and I'll be right back. All right, there it is. Kind of cute, isn't it? I really like these pages. They're really different. And, you know, I have them. Um, I'll um, print some photos. Um, someone had asked me, told me they use Shutterfly. Um, I do have a couple websites that I get free photos. And I just pay the shipping. But, you know, I... I live on a, a disability and I just, you know, I maybe every three or four months I, I treat myself to order photos. I think the shipping's like 10 bucks, but um, yeah. So anyway, I've enjoyed doing this page even though I kind of messed up. You know, I got ink on there. I hope you enjoyed this too. And yeah, check the links below and check out Close to My Heart, you guys. There's so many new things that you will love. And one of my favorite things right now is the White Daisy cardstock. Their inks, uh, their chamois. I love their stamps. Oh, I could just go on and on. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.